Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this pumpkin look. And oh my god, do I love the way it came out, honestly. I am super excited for this Halloween. I have so many ideas that I want to do for my channel. And don't forget to comment down below your ideas. Um, and I might do them for this month. I'm trying to post more often. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to know how I did this look, keep on watching. going in with the contacts this one's it says here three-tone brown on the website it's under brown bonita and the link for the contacts is gonna be down below I always make sure that there's like no pelitos or anything on my eyes just because it could get on the contact and when you put it in it's gonna be like burning you or bugging you and always make sure your contact contacts are clean as well and that there's like nothing on it um, or that they're not torn if they're torn it's gonna be hella painful you see when it gets stuck is because so that's how I put my contacts on honestly It's not really that hard. You just need to make sure your um, fingers are dry. And uh, the light is bugging me. It takes me a while to get used to the contact being in my eye. Now that we're done putting the contact on, let's get this side started. So I did hydrate my skin already and... I'm going to be going in with the Mattifying Pore Minimizing Primer. I will be priming my whole face. Okay, so for my brows, I'm going to be going in with L'Oreal Paris, which is in the shade Espresso 173 and it's just a brow gel brown brow gel and I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe R44 brush and I'm gonna do my brow off camera and I'll be right back now that my brow is done I'm gonna go in with this one just because it takes longer um, I'm going to be going in with the Elmer, Elmer's Washable Glue Stick. This is the purple one. And I'm just going to put it all over my brow. With the spoolie, I'm just um, brushing it through just to make sure that there's glue everywhere. And you just let it dry. And you could do this process until you're 100% sure that your brow is completely secured. Okay, so while it's drying, let's just keep on with this side. So to clean my eyebrows, I went with the Ultra HD Makeup Forever Concealer. And this is in the shade 30.5. 
which is also going to be a concealer I'm going to be using. For foundation, um, all of my foundations are a little bit darker than me. But I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 3010. I went ahead and put some on the back of my hand and I'm going in with the Morphe R6 foundation brush. I'll be going back with the concealer. I'm going to be going in with the, the Revlon Colorstay um, press powder and this is in the shade fair and I'm just going to be setting this side so I'm going to be going in with purple haze and I'm going to be using faded which is this orange color and I'm going in, I'm going in with this uh, blending brush. It doesn't have the name. It's from Morphe, but it doesn't have like the mark of the name. I'm going to be going in with this uh, Splash of Who's Volume 2. And I'm going to be using the orange shake, which is this orange color. Using this flat brush, I'm going in with the Neon Huda, Huda Beauty Palette. And I'm going to be using this shimmering orange shade. I'm just packing it where I want it to be. Over here on the outer side, I'm just like spreading it so that it could diffuse. So I'm going to be going in with my black jumbo eyeliner and I'm just going to put it on my waterline top and bottom. And on the bottom, I'm just, just going to smoke it out a little bit very thinly i'll be right back okay so i went ahead and smoked it out and i just added added some mascara i'll put my lashes at the very end okay so with my black eyeliner i guess i'm just gonna start marking where i want the pumpkin uh, piece to start something like that okay so my dumbass forgot to check if I did have orange so I went in with this paint palette and I used red yellow and some of the white to try and do my own orange I'm not happy with it but we're just gonna go for it right now and try to see what's up So I'm going to be going in with this brush. Okay, so on camera it does look orange. It's just on my end it looks a little bit more reddish than I wanted it to be. But I guess it's fine. more I just added more white and yellow to my actual face I'm gonna be going in with the NYX finishing powder and 
a beauty blender and just setting the whole face. going in with this flat tiny brush and I'm just gonna wet it to activate the black paint I guess I'm gonna start with the cracks Done with that part now let's do the lines okay, so since I have everything already marked I'm just darking it up and then right now we're gonna do all the details. Okay, so I went in with my black jumbo pencil and just did my waterline from there just because I didn't want it to move around. I used the Morphe M454 brush, which is just a blending brush. I got some black um, eyeshadow, and it's fine. I went in with the Frida Kahlo palette from Lux Latina Beauty, and I went in with the black just to set the little triangle from the eyes. Okay, so next I'm gonna be setting my nose. I'm going in with this pencil brush. And again, I'm gonna be going in with the black eyeshadow. For the little end, I'm gonna use my um, eyebrow brush. Just to kind of make it pointy -er. And now we're going to start on the corners. So I'm patting the powder in. And that way it kind of looks like it's spreading out. So I'm going to be going back with this blending brush, putting some of the black and just going all around. You go over and then with this blending brush, you blend. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now I think I'm gonna go back with the, on the little cracks and just going in with my NYX Matte Black Liquid Eyeliner.
Okay, so I'm going to be going in with the lip paint in the shade Leather, which is black lipstick. Going back with the same brush that we've been using for the black paint. I'm just going to make the smile longer. I just marked little X's. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to be going in with Brain Freezer Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm thinking of going in with Cocky. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M510 brush. And for my lash, I'm not going to be putting on any here on this one because it's black so it's not going to show up. But I'm going to be going in with Brooke. And this ones are from Nevea Marie Cosmetics. She's on Instagram. The link is going to be down below as well. So I'm going to put my lashes my lash and I'll be right back boom I'm back so I'm gonna be going in with the Urban Decay setting spray so this is the end result let me get closer Okay guys, so I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye!